So every Sunday we gather uh, to, to meditate together. And, uh, so one of the things that we uh, start with, start our meditation is with uh, intention. Right? So in Hindi, there are two words, bhav and bhavna. Intention and the feeling connected to that intention. And the power of transformation is these two words. Transformation, the quality of relationship. So when I use the word relationship, relationship is not just with the people, but relationship, I, the conscious being, relating to my body. I, the conscious being, relating to the five elements, to the matter, to the nature. So my relationship to this world, including people, including my relationship with my own past. Past cannot be changed, but the effect of the past is still on us. That has to change. So how to change? is the power of pure intention. Pure is something which is aligned to the truth. Something which is aligned to our true nature is pure. And the intention that is coming from our true nature can transform the effect of the past on our consciousness. And now it is not a philosophy because meditation is manifesting, understanding into something tangible, right? Something has to change as a part, as a result of meditation. So, so what is this thing, bhav and bhavna? Bhavna is the energy, feelings are energy that radiates when you shift our awareness. When we shift our awareness to be aligned to the truth of our true consciousness, the feelings change. Right? So, especially when we talk about the truth, truth which is true in the past, in the present, in the future, and forever. Truth is not something that changes with time or place, or with people. When we align to that truth, then it has a power to transform the effect of the things that happen in this world of change. People change. Your feelings towards people change. Right? So as it changes, it leaves some residue. Either it is pain, or is it is longing for that? Even if you had a good time, you long for that good time. Both of them takes you away from present. So the effect has to be dissolved. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. If we can make it happen, what will change? If we can make this thing happen, what does it mean for you? If we can transform the effect of the past, what will happen to you? Freedom, true love. We get to experience the true version of love. And that's what we're looking for. Wisdom, yeah? So you get like, wow, I, I figured it out. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> yeah? What else? How will it change you? You get to be at peace. Yeah? Acceptance, true acceptance ha happens. Acceptance is like, yeah, I know you, you hurt me. <laughs> I forgive you, but I'll never forget what you did to me. <laughs> <laughs> I keep it in my heart <laughs> what you did in the head we, we try to put some philosophy 
to get it over, but feelings does not change. It's not forgiveness. Because whatever you feel, your every expression, every word, every interaction is colored by what you feel. If I hold this feeling that you hurt me, I forgive you, but the way I look at her, <laughs> she knows, oh my God, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> you know? Unless feelings change, your body language doesn't change. And we heavily communicate with body language. Words are just nothing to be truth. Words are just uh, some, mas some mask. What you feel is what you make others feel. If I hold that pain inside me, I will never forgive you because pain will never sit quiet. <laughs> it will always provoke. Yeah. So the first forgiveness is um, mercy. I need to, first step to forgiveness is mercy. And the first mercy is towards myself. If I hold on to what you did to me, I'm hurting myself. I'm ruining my own present. Be kind to yourself. Don't beat yourself up. So then how do I change? It already happened. That person may come now and then say like, oh, sorry. Will it change? What should I do to change? It's a really million dollar question. <laughs> it's a good IP. <laughs> if we can resolve, yeah. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. But somehow something holds you back. Thus, we think, we try to find the reason. Is it wrong? Is it wrong to say why? It's natural because we are first response and the response forever. <laughs> because even after 10 years, you still ask the same question. The first response was that even after 10 years, the same response to why? Why did you do this to me? Um. yeah and and there is other thing that's where spirituality comes into picture the big part in the practice is this may sound strange your sense of self has to change. Then both your reasoning will come align, get aligned and also your feelings will also change. It will make sense and also why this thing happened in the past also makes sense. It won't come back again and your feelings also change. You really get to experience true freedom, true sense of love, through peace, through wisdom, all that things comes along. And that one thing is you just observe your sense of self. Is it aligned to the truth? If my sense of self is based on what I experience in a transient thing, that is not your true sense of self. 
what we experience in the past, we hold on to that as our true sense of self. And the problem is you cannot not be you. As long as I hold on to that sense of self, defined by what happened when I interact with people, that will never let you free. That will never let you experience true love, true happiness, true peace. You'll never figure out the true wisdom either. So, and that's why in meditation, Raja, the main thing that we focus on is sense of self. And once you get aligned to that true sense of self, which is not nothing to do with what they did or you did or what happened here in this world of change, then you get bigger than the problem. And then you all naturally see that, oh, this is transient. It's okay. No, no harm done. If my sense of self is that, you did this to me. That is me. So there is no escape from it. You are stuck. Unless you shift your sense of self. Separate from who you really are before that thing happened. That is your eternal sense of self. And that's why in Raj Yoga we focus heavily on soul consciousness. And when we meditate, we want to emerge our feelings we call soul conscious bhav and bhavna. When you tap into your sense of self as this eternal self which is untampered by this transient experience, when you stabilize that and from that space, whatever feelings and intentions comes, that has this healing power. That will not only set you free, you have a power to influence others to let go of what they are holding on to. And that is the power of spirituality. Bhav, bhavna of soul consciousness. Isn't that true? And that is the power of spirituality. So, on that note, let's try to get closer to that pure sense of self. So this needs a lot of uh, surgical precision. <laughs> you have to be very observant. Where am I absorbed into? Right? The practice of observing helps you to separate yourself from what you are absorbed. If you don't observe, by default you are absorbed into it, you'll never know what is going on. Right? So the practice of observing. Observe your senses and allow your senses to calm down and your sense of self detaches from the body. And you observe what happened with the people and put that sense of feeling in those thoughts separate. And then you observe the sense of your presence and that's how you you focus in you subtly tune into that presence and then you feel a sense of freedom and your tools are your heart and your observing mind your heart is will tell what is feeling what feelings is going on then you can observe, oh, this feeling is got to do with what my mom did when I was 70 years ago. <laughs> so that is not me. You get to observe, you detach your sense of, pull your heart out of that feeling and then stabilize. Like, what was I feeling before that thing happened? And that needs surgical precision of focus. And as you start doing that, you get to a place what it feels to be real. And your sense of self will start shifting to become more spiritual. Yeah? Sounds like a plan? Already. Let's do it. Okay? Make yourself very comfortable.
slow down. Observe all the sensations in your body. With each breath, let every part of your body fully relax. Observe every breath. As it reaches every part of your body. Every muscle losing away. Feel that sense of lightness. Just stabilize your mind. As it engages in this peaceful awareness of your body. Just allow. Allow your breath to take care of your body. Nothing to do. Your breath will heal your body. Take your mind out of this body.
now gently raise your awareness. Just imagine. Your mind can detach from this earth. As if you stepped out of this earth, everything that is happening on this earth is like a movie on a screen. Anything that happened to you or anything that is done by you on that earth stays on that earth. Gently take your mind out of that earth. Let your mind rest. Let your mind be free from any thoughts of that earth or people of the earth or things of the earth. Let your mind rest in the silence. And observe your mind the pleasantness of the mind is restoring in this silence
Take your own time. There's no rush. But still feel some lingering thoughts floating. Give some more time. your mind. To come into the stillness. Let your mind rest. Now take your attention into your heart. Observe how you feel. Consciously create a space for this healing silence in your heart. Keeping your mind free from thoughts, focusing on this healing silence in your heart. And now allow this space to expand in your heart. Allow this healing silence to expand both in your mind and your heart. As if the clouds are clearing Engage in this heart space, a spacious mind, a broad and loving heart.
This is the space. Free from any transient feelings. This is a space where you can feel your true presence. Allow this pure peace to naturally radiate. This pure silence in your pure heart. As your mind is connected to your pure presence, Make yourself comfortable in this new sense of self, in this renewed sense of self. Keeping your heart pure and clean. Keeping your mind engaged in this pure, peaceful presence.
allow that sense of freedom to grow. No worries, no concerns. Feel at home. In this pure silence. A pleasant sense of peace. All pervading. Imagine how it feels to engage with a being who always stays beyond, always exuding love, no conditions of the earth, a love which is very genuine. untampered, never changing. In this pure silence, feel the presence of this loving being. Feel that warm, loving energy surrounding you. There is a sense of belonging. Feel the company of this sacred love. Like a child resting in the arms of a mother. Allow yourself to dissolve. Stay absorbed in love. Filling your heart. And there is this deep sense of belonging.
of a simple understanding. Everyone is just playing their role. Nothing personal. That world is a world, a stage. Everyone is playing a role. Someone is playing a role of a mother. Other is playing a role of a child. Nothing personal. Just the game of life. Now, this new sense of identity to shift your feelings. Allow this new sense of identity to shift your feelings towards your past. It's just a game of life. You are not the role. Step out of the stage. And shift your feelings. Just extend your sense of the sacred love to every person. Experience this true sense of love, true sense of freedom, very comfortable, very peaceful.
loving vibrations to the whole nature. Open that. Take a minute to just observe how you feel. You get a hang of the practice. Do you feel any different? You want to? How many of you feel the difference? Yeah, little bit. Okay. And if you want to put one, two, three steps to hold on to that, what are your three steps? Yeah, defend yourself. Yeah, that's right. Be merciful to yourself. Yeah. And then share. That's right. And then how do you define yourself? Tells, are you merciful to yourself or not? How you define yourself tells, how are you merciful? <laughs> if I define myself, I look, that person hurt me. then there is no mercy towards you. You are doomed. You are under the mercy. When you define yourself based on 
a sense of pure silence, taking your head and heart. And that feels good. Hold there. And that is being merciful. Cool. Sounds like a plan for the next week and for the new year. Easy. Three steps. Take it easy. It's just game. Don't stress. Nothing personal. <laughs> <laughs>